USDCHF. Now the USDCHF has broken out from this support level. Um, we can see that also the support level has been broken out now, and the USDCHF seems to be like it's falling down and continuing its bearish momentum. However, um, let me just uh, see how far it's going to reverse. Uh, let's see together, guys. So what do we have here? Let me, you know something? This is daily candle. I think it's going to be more uh, clear if we move now to the weekly candles. Yeah, that's more clear right now. So on weekly candles, we can see that here we had this key support level on the weekly candle. Now let's see more to the left if to see if this level was strong and acting as a key support level. And absolutely, yes, we can see it as a strong support level right here, right here and right here and right here meaning uh, most likely after the breakout from this previous support level the market is going to continue its bearish momentum all the way until it hit this previous support and then we can expect for the USDC shift to reverse and we can start buying it however that is gonna take long time I think not not less than a month or actually three weeks so what is the next move right now for the USDCHF? Now we sure we sure that the USDCHF is going to continue its bear, uh, bullish, uh, so, bullish, its bearish momentum. However, my expectation is the USDCHF is gonna make a, fi uh, a final pullback, retesting this previous support level, and then it's gonna continue uh, falling more down. Uh, let's just confirm that by seeing the four-hour charts. So the four hour chart, uh, we need to find now on the four hour chart if this level has been uh, respected or not as a previous support level to expect if the price is going to bounce immediately or not. However, this price action is one of my favorite price actions indicating that the market should actually start this uh, bullish reversal. Let me just um, delete this line now and let's see on the left. If the same level was acting as a strong support and we can see that we have attempt number two and attempt number one of the support. Let's go more to the left. Mm, it's not that strong yet. More to the left. Absolutely. That is what I'm looking for. So this level was actually strong as a key support level, uh, changing the whole direction of the trend. I have no idea where this another line came from. What was the level? 97312 97312 Okay, so this is the one we're going to read off We can see that uh, this level was almost touching the same level of the support and right here as well So all in all All in all this support level is strong and it was uh, the market was reversing right on it That's why I'm expecting for the USD CHF to make one last pullback for almost uh, 26 to 30 pips just hitting this previous support level before it actually continue its bearish momentum let's go back to the daily candles right now uh, let me just confirm it using the trend lines so I will draw my trend line um, since I'm looking for sell order I need to use a resistance trend lines and therefore, I'm going to rely right on this level from this uh, level right here until this level here. And again, you can see that by, that by drawing this resistance trend line, I can just drag it anywhere and we can see that the level has been respected right here and right here. Fantastic. So by moving that, I can just place the resistance trend line on this previous support level right here indicating that that this analysis hopefully is going to be accurate and uh, USDCHF as I said is going to go, go up all the way here and then it's gonna continue its bearish momentum so let me just draw the shape is let me just draw the resist the support uh, trend line sorry the, the support zone where we can expect the market to reverse and I believe that is the right way uh, once you see the market entering this previous uh, support zone, it's going to be safe to place the sell order and hopefully the market is going to continue its bearish momentum and just to be safe, 
I want to I want you guys to exit your trade once you see the market uh, reaching this previous support level right here that should give us approximately 89 or 90 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all so that was my expectation for the USDCHF hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be accurate and again thank you guys for your time and for watching